from Sister Sasagawa of Akita in a letter. Hello viewers, welcome to our channel The Gifts of God. May God bless all those who are watching the video. I hope you enjoy the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us and listen to this video until the end. Type Amen if you believe, God always blesses you. Before we delve into today's topic, let us pray with Mother Mary. O Mother Mary, you are the beloved daughter of God the Father, I entrust my soul to your care. Please protect the life of God within my soul, do not let me lose that life because of sin. Please protect my mind and will so that all my thoughts and desires may be pleasing to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. This letter serves as an introduction to the documentary, The Ida and Foda Secret. I confirm that the information presented in this documentary is true and accurate. For a long time, I have desired for people worldwide to know about this information. I truly believe that this documentary is a sacred creation following the command of the Blessed Virgin Mary to warn people and help them make changes in their lives. The third message from Akita, which was delivered to me by Our Lady of Akita, is essentially the same as the third message from Fatima, according to Bishop Ito, Professor Yuda, and other reliable sources. I hope as many people as possible will watch this documentary. I pray that the peace of Jesus Christ and the Blessed Virgin Mary be with you. Please note that Sister Agnes Sasagawa is currently residing at the Kumamoto Care Facility in Japan since April 1, 2024. We kindly request individuals in Japan to visit Sister Agnes as she has been isolated from the Catholic community and her health is not good. Please pray for her and visit Sister Sasagawa at the Kumamoto Care Facility, along with other nearby Christians in Japan. Introduction by Sister Agnes Sasagawa, I hope and pray that your efforts in spreading the message of Mother Mary will be successful, and people around the world will know about it. For your convenience, the segments of the documentary are displayed with start times. You are about to discover a secret that poses a threat to Satan's reign to the extent that efforts have been made to keep it secret. Our Lady of Akita revealed the final part of the photo secret, however, the Vatican did not disclose this information. The Catholic Church is necessary to lead you to heaven. Satan is aware of this, which is why he occasionally spreads rumors that the full third secret has been revealed. The full third secret reveals the apostasy in the Catholic Church as well as a supernatural chastisement, contributing to the deception. More than ever, the information you are about to see and hear is crucial as some prophesied events are about to come true. The knowledge in this documentary can help you avoid the great deception that Satan is plotting for humanity and provide a supernatural means to defeat evil. The remarkable timeline of events, Our Lady of Foda conveyed a message to save souls on October 13, 1917, and 56 years later, on October 13, 1973. Sister Agnes Sasagawa also received a similar message. From March 25, 1945, to May 31, 1959, Ida Pman saw the Lady of All Nations in 56 visions she experienced in Amsterdam. A picture of the Lady of All Nations was sent to sculptor Saboro Waza to create an identical wooden statue for the AA convent. Agnes Sasagawa was taught the same prayer that Sister Lucia received from an angel while she was praying the rosary at a hospital in Mayoko. At the end of each decade, the angel instructed her to pray, O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The following timeline focuses on some important lessons and healings related to Akita. The statue began weeping for the first time on January 4, 1974. The statue shed 101 tears between January 4, 1975, and September 15, 1981. Sister Agnes was visited by an angel who miraculously instructed her to read Genesis 3 verse 15. On September 28, 1981, miraculous healings occurred during this time, including Teresa Chun's recovery from cancer. Sister Agnes received the expected treatment for her deafness on May 30, 1982. 
Bishop John Edo approved the supernatural events in 1984, and the Tears and Messages of Mary were published in 1987. The Hill of Redemption, a film in 1990, featured Sister Sasagawa discussing her conversations with the Virgin Mary. However, after Bishop John Edo passed away in 1993, the Mother Superior of the convent was instructed not to publicize the teachings of Our Lady of Akita. Sister Sasagawa's name was changed to Sister S in official records, and efforts were made to bury the truth. Part of the third secret, describing an angel wielding a flaming sword and the possible execution of the Pope, was disclosed by the Vatican in 2000. There were speculations and uncertainties as the full secret remained undisclosed. Rev. T. C. U. D. A. published a book in 2003 describing Satan's infiltration and intense battles within the Catholic Church. He emphasized the importance of witnessing miracles and understanding their significance. Pope Francis's election in 2013 received praise from groups traditionally at odds with the Catholic Church. Rev. T. C. U. D. A. passed away later that year. The Holy Rosary miracle in Liberia in 2014 protected people from the Ebola virus. Although the search for Sister Sasagawa proved challenging, she was eventually found in Kumamoto, Japan, in 2015. Sister Sasagawa's experiences and the miracles witnessed in Akita serve as a strong reminder of spiritual warfare and the importance of paying attention to the teachings of the Blessed Mother. By obeying and understanding her teachings, we can turn the sorrowful tears of the mother into joy and find peace. The Bible shows how powerful Mary's intercession is. When Mary urged Jesus to intervene at the wedding in Cana, he performed the first public miracle in front of the crowd. Although Jesus hesitated initially, he turned water into wine at his mother's request. This event emphasizes Mary's importance in persuading Jesus to perform miracles. Throughout history, there have been cases where a king's unusual actions were performed through his mother's intervention. Similarly, Catholics believe that Mary intercedes for us, leading to positive outcomes in our lives. The devotion to Mary, including praying the rosary, reflects this belief. The uprising of the Protestant Reformation in 1517 marked the beginning of the fifth period in the Church's history, and the Antichrist will emerge during the seventh period, according to the venerable priest Bartholomew Holtzhauser. His prophecies provide a profound insight into what is about to happen, such as the triumph of Our Lady during a period of peace. Thousands witnessed hopeful and peaceful messages during the apparitions in Foda, Portugal, from May 13 to October 13, 1917. These phenomena are supernatural, as demonstrated by the miracle of the Sun on October 13, 1917. The Catholic Church considers the requests of the Blessed Virgin Mary essential, especially Russia's consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The prophecies at Fatima are closely related to the revelations and miracles in Akita in 1973. Both emphasize the importance of following Mary's advice to prevent disasters. The full third secret of Fatima remains unknown, although it is believed to foretell divine punishment and warn against apostasy in the Catholic Church. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What do you think about today's topic? Please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the bell button next to it to receive notifications of the latest videos. In conclusion, I wish you all a day full of positive energy. May God bless you. Amen.